Yeah, I've stayed here a bunch. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're excited. I haven't stayed here. I know uh, Katie Childs was just on the roof last weekend. Uh, we're here with Craig Spitzer in the Durham Hotel, frankly in the penthouse with our buddy uh, Josh Hart and his pal Jason on the other side of the camera. Uh, we're super excited to get to talk to Craig. The hotel has been a smash hit in Durham so far, and uh, we want to get some of that story. We wrote about it on the Clarion content, but when you've got the man and the access and the opportunity to look behind the scenes, uh, we want to have a chance to do that. So so welcome, welcome. Great, thank you. Yeah, Katie, a pleasure to have you guesting. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know when we do anything stylish, who's the first person <laughs> we ask? Our style may have been Katie Childs. So I know we got to uh, walk a little bit through the lobby and talk uh, some about the entrance way, but maybe you want to tell people, I tell people the first time I came here, you and I spent 15 minutes outside with Justin talking before we even came in. So tell people a little bit about that entrance way and what people see from the street. Sure, sure. Well, we... Um First off, the building is iconic in its own right, you know, built in the late 60s um, as a bank building originally. And at the time, um, I think a lot of thought was put into sort of how banks presented themselves, kind of these grand uh, entryways that um, were, I think, meant to give people a sort of sense of security that their money was safe. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, flip that to where we're doing now, um, what it allows us to do is sort of take this uh, original foyer area that was, you know, there was a big fountain there and it was kind of this grand entrance and we've turned it much more into our um, our kind of meet and greet uh, area. So when people arrive, there's a real sense of arrival. We have valet uh, uh, waiting or bell staff uh, opening the doors, whether it's guests of the hotel or people coming in or, you know, the mailman, as I tell you. Right. Did right. I tell you his name is Welcome? Welcome? No yeah, way. The no mailman's name is Welcome. So, Durham is full know, of great names. Welcoming <laughs> welcome to the Durham is something we... Uh, we enjoy doing on a daily basis. Um, and uh, what we did was, because the way the, um, if you're familiar with the entrance, the, the entrance is actually set back in that foyer. So right, right. we don't really address the street the way you might expect other hotels or retail yeah, you're businesses almost to a do. Nook. So you're kind of, exactly. So we want to take advantage of the opportunity to activate the street in a way. So we went with this uh, newsstand concept. Um, right. So we've got a curated newsstand down there, some harder to find um, publications uh, in terms of magazines, newspapers, and then also a nice selection of um, of different things that are available throughout the hotel. Our in-room snacks, which are curated by NC Made, which is a Durham-based website that does um, North Carolina product uh, gift boxes. Cool. Um, and uh, she helped us kind of fine-tune and select uh, local and regional um, snack products that we sell in the in the guest rooms, and those are available out on the uh, out there. You can buy our blankets, which are Raleigh denim uh, blankets and so on and so mm. forth. So we've got this kind of cool little kind of retail component to what we do. And then um, uh, along with that is the shoe shine component, which- Right, right. Um, you were telling Katie I, and I about that in the pre-interview. Yeah, so. yeah. It's exciting uh, to be able to kind of create an opportunity both for someone to build a little business there and also create a service that um, our hotel guests can enjoy, but also folks who might be on their way to a meeting downtown or heading to a wedding downtown or what have you can kind of pop in and frankly I think the shoe shine is as much about getting your shoe shined as it is the experience of being able to sit back relax a little bit maybe interact with whomever is providing that service and sure. learn a little or, or, or a thing or two so All right and on the like kind of scale of the entrance and kind of the layout of it the big letters I get a really like Havana, Cubana kind of feel to it, or Cubana as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Is that was that purposeful too, or just kind of? Yeah. A few other people around town have told me that. Yeah, that's well. funny you say that. I I kind of got the sort of early, early on this like Mexico City kind yeah. of modern vibe to it. Um, not necessarily because the letters that we came back with um, emulate almost exactly what Home mm -hmm. Savings did back in the '60s. So, really, the lettering was inspired by the original signage mm -hmm. on the building. But it does, maybe because of the era, and I yeah, think Yeah, the era it does is sort exactly of what. Exude that, I would yeah, agree with you, yeah. But does. there was no sort of intent on our part mm -hmm. to go there. It just, I think, kind of happened organically. It looks very good. Thank you. Yeah. Fact checkers say Mexico City held the Olympics in 1968, and a whole ton of uh, building happened in Mexico in that period leading up to it. So, given the period you date the building to, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. But I want to I wanna hop back to the shoe shine story, because I think, you know, you were telling Katie and I about sort of how that's an interactive with the community kind of space rather than being you know separate from the street in a hotel that kind of has its you know hands up you guys have your hands out to the yeah, community. Yeah very much so I mean the, the idea that this 
place is a hotel, I think in a lot of people's minds, people think of hotel as exactly what you just described, guests only. Right. right? Um, our idea for a hotel and what we're all about here is trying to create a space that is interactive, like you mentioned, for not just the people who might be spending the night, but people who are in town, work in downtown, live downtown, maybe are just passing through downtown to try do to- Do yoga in downtown. Yeah, do yoga in downtown. <laughs> uh, that's a, another service that we offer, rooftop yoga in the mornings, and again, open to the public. Um, the idea for us is just to create an establishment that has roots and ties and connections to and is inclusive of and embraceive of Durham as a whole, uh, rather than creating services that are only to the hotel guests. That just wasn't something right. that was exciting to us. Right, right. So you haven't stayed here yet, per se, but you've been here. No, yeah, I was here um, for celebrating friend's wedding, and we were on the rooftop. It was beautiful. I think, I mean, it, it certainly has, it could be taken as a formal vibe or like an informal vibe, and I think that's What's cool about it is you could come here after work and like meet him for a drink, hang out for an hour, you could come here celebrating a wedding, and it's like however you make it. And kind I of the same with the list. That's a good too. point about the formal and informal thing. It's like there is definitely, I mean, the building is just so, in my opinion, spectacular that from a decor perspective, we, we went a certain way, and it does sort of exude this kind of opulence to an extent. But at the same point, you know, we're here in downtown Durham, a pretty casual crowd is is mm -hmm. is those are those folks who are out walking about and what we've seen and what we really aspire to was that you know i always say people ask me about dress code, i say come as you are i mean it's it, you know shorts and flip-flops suit and tie we've got people sitting next to each other mingling and mixing in both environments and both you know dresses and i think they feel comfortable mm -hmm. and a lot of that i hope is how we kind of welcome folks the idea sure. that it really doesn't matter there's no code we don't care you know who yeah. who's coming here in terms of how they're dressed we're much more interested in trying to create an environment where everybody feels comfortable right right i think that opulence you're talking about kind of is present in a lot of downtown honestly i know mm -hmm. it's something that's been like a hot topic of conversation with bigger higher end construction but like i mean you look at coffee shops i love coco cinnamon but you know it's like there's three different kinds of espresso there's three kinds of iced coffee we like this town really likes options and luxurious mm -hmm. things, and I think this kind of highlights that in a very good way. It's, I, I think you're right about that. It's it's for us. It's more about quality than it is about necessarily the presentation of it. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a warm and welcoming environment because we're um, wanting to create an environment where people really feel taken care of. Um, our coffee bar is doing. I mean, these guys are beyond passionate about. They're what they're doing. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're not just pulling shots of espresso here. They're really, you know, calibrating them to the point where they're excited about what they're doing and really love putting out a great product. Yeah. So. And that's open to the public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The coffee bar is uh, really the first thing that we open from a food and beverage perspective. Uh, doing um, breakfast seven days a week uh, from seven to eleven, and then the coffee bar itself opens at seven and it runs all the way up till five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the combination of luxurious and community oriented is just really fantastic. I mean, when Craig says come as you are, they're holding open to the public yoga classes on the roof seven days a week for 10 bucks. I mean, how do you think people come dress for yoga class, right? Exactly. It might not be shorts and flip flops, but it's right, right. surely comfortable. And I think that that's really evident and kind of the whole way that you guys have approached you know everything that i've seen here is not only locally focused but with this sense that the door is open i, I know the we'll look downstairs at the lobby and show you some of these glorious you know colors and shots but i know you've really tried to set the lobby setup up so that it's welcoming to the patio and the restaurant mm -hmm. what can you give us a little bit of how that works is it's not just the coffee bar right there's a full-on yeah yeah full-on restaurant um will open within a few weeks now. Um, so we'll serve eventually dinner as well as lunch, breakfast. We'll do brunch service on the weekends. We do have that really neat little outdoor dining terrace. There's about yeah, 30 yeah. seats out there. When the construction wraps up next door, especially, it's going to be a really delightful place to, <laughs> well, that'd to be great. <laughs> enjoy, I think, the breeze and the morning coffee and you get some great shade because that uh, building next to us is about five stories tall. So, yeah. um, And um, the front desk itself is really when designing the spot, the space, uh, a lot of thought went into this idea of creating the front desk as a welcoming 
beacon. The minute you walk through the door, you're greeted. Everything um, has soft circles and arcs down there. It's amazing yeah. the way everything just kind of feels like these little bows that bend into right. it. And the idea of behind that is that, you know, when anybody arrives, whether they're here for a drink, for coffee, for dinner, to check in, um, we want to make sure they know that we're there to take care of them and there to help them, there to assist them in any way they can. So it's pretty we're awesome. Right, we're right there for them. So with the restaurant opening soon, I know you have Andrea Rusing doing that from mm -hmm. the Lantern. What can you tell us about the menu? I'm sure there's a lot you guys want to keep exciting, and I yeah. know you're not necessarily the chef behind it, but what's kind of the, the <laughs> feel you sure. guys are going um, for? Yeah, so very much inspired by the space. It's classic American cuisine. Mm -hmm. um, Andrea at Lantern over the years has really been able to um, create and establish some incredible relationships with farmers in and around the area. So really um, working with and, and working around what is available from a produce perspective, from a protein perspective, and um, really bringing those ingredients that we're able to find um, out in very simple but yet um, very attractive uh, cuisine. So classic American inspired by sort of uh, hotel classics, if you will, um, mm -hmm. and um, not to forget that, you know, to modernize American food would be um, a fail without incorporating some melting pot kind of techniques and ingredients as a, mm -hmm. as a component to it. Which she does really well, so yeah, that'll much. be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's already fabulous food happening here. I see people every uh, week on Instagram with the Oyster Hour. Yeah, so, uh, well, before we opened the rooftop bar, we were doing some um, happy hour oysters down in the lobby. Yeah, yeah. Um, now that we have the rooftop bar open, we have a raw bar up here. That's and awesome. And the raw bar does serve um, uh, some really great oysters, primarily from up and down the East Coast. Um, that we also do some really great, um, very simple, we have a very small kitchen there. So we have a raw bar right. and a small kitchen. So a lot of the food is um, uh, really complementary to the environment, to sitting outside and kind of enjoying a cocktail or a glass of beer or wine or something like that and um, you know kind of good shareable plates and things like that. Well, it really just makes a ton of sense to me. I mean so much of what you guys do is simple, classic, elegant, do it right, don't overthink it. You know I'm sure Katie Childs approves. You know stylistically we as Durham are excited to have you in the community. We love the openness of the connection. We know that people will be in and out of here for yoga, for when Centerfest is in town, you know a chance to be on the rooftop, have an oyster, have a drink. We're really excited to have been here and uh, we're looking forward to walking around with Josh and Jason and Katie, thanks so much for co-hosting. Craig, thanks for coming on. I uh, can't wait it. to My show pleasure. people more of the Durham. Terrific stuff. Really thanks. appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, Katie. Yeah.